But all alone? Watch yourselves. She's probably planning something. <laughs> I was getting rather tired of waiting around. Oh my, and I see you came along as well, Dan and Witch. Oh, Madria. What's this? I thought you couldn't stand the sight of me. Go on, little one. Show me the full force of that hatred of yours. Otherwise, run and hide like a rat you are. That's enough! How can you smile while causing pain to so many others? That is the way of those who possess great power. The very way we run is not Those with power set the example, and those without are forced to obey. Though you two seem to have forgotten that's the way these things work. And you really think that justifies your actions? You turned all those people into a hollowed sea! What foolishness. It's only natural that the fate of a slave differ from that of its owner. Very well, I admit I did fan the flames just a tad back in the ends. But it wouldn't have mattered in the slightest if there hadn't been a spark to ignite. Without it, my actions would have been fruitless. Ultimately, it was their very own burning hatred that laid them to waste. To say it was all my fault is simply laying blame at the wrong feet. No one's perfect. We all have darkness in our hearts. But the atrocities that you've committed, they're unthinkable! Your heart is nothing but darkness! What a fool! To think time and time again you would challenge Ren and authority without so much as an inkling of how things actually work. Such ignorance is why your kind has been enslaved for 300 years. Almadria. Well, if it isn't Lord Dohalim. These people are my allies and friends. I won't let you insult them so. <sighs> my, what a shock. I never would have expected you to claim mere slaves as your companions. If I didn't know any better, I would question your noble lineage. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. A traitor such as yourself hardly deserves to be called a lord. You are nothing compared to Dohalim. Rinwell. He would never stand by and laugh. His people hollowed! Ha! <laughs> what does it matter? You're descended from those who allowed the power and knowledge entrusted to them to wither away. Your pitiful family may have feared it, but I do not. That knowledge and power is all mine to command. And now... You will witness what that power is truly capable of! Mesmold! Okay. 
can't get out of this! Turn your blade away! Good power! Good power! Good power! This one's mine! Not anything in armor is all mine! Will this help? Not on my watch! Time to shine! Sword I can carve through armor! Healing circle! Slut down! Your blade is mine! Slut! Swallow blade! Dance in the wind! Slut!
You don't scare me! Go for it, Rimwell! Hit her now! Ignore it!
You murdered my mother and father. <gasps> but I'm not like you. Rinwell. Even now, I hate you. But here I am, unable to let go. Honestly, even if I took my hatred out on you here and now, it wouldn't make me feel any better in the long run. I realize that now. So, I won't kill you. I'll take you in, and make damn sure justice is served the right way. You would dare mock me, with your foolish, useless pity? A Danon, nothing more than a mere slave. I won't allow you to... It's not about what you think. Or being Danon or Renan. Because you'll atone for the crimes you committed. And that's all. <laughs> Swordsman again. Oh, Lord Volron, what brings you here? Uh, no, forgive me. I've forgotten myself. Please allow me to make it up to you, my lord. Silence now, wretched snake. Does it hurt? It should. That pain is proof you're still alive. Enjoy it. Haros met a sudden death. His successor was a man by that very name, Volron. And like a restless lover, I've come back for more.
come and find me. If you truly are the Sovereign.